No, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. It's good, man. No. Okay. I'm here with Peter Gilgan, the CEO of Madame Homes, the 2009 Avid Canada Award winner, 300 plus closings. Peter, congratulations on winning this year's award. Thank you, Paul. Great. The, uh, the score that you guys achieved this year was a 249, which is fantastic. We had over 85% of your customers willing to recommend this year. And, and again, you've done a fantastic job with your customers. Tell me a little bit about how Madame does it. You guys have been repeat winners here and, uh, and we're really pleased to, to have you once again. Uh, Paul, it's, uh, it's, it's a combination of uh, culture and teamwork. Um, it's, uh, uh, I think first and foremost, um, it's, uh, it's something that the people at the top of the organization have to deeply believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. They have to under, they have to, uh, it's, it's not really sophisticated, it really simply comes down to something we all heard about as kids, the golden rule. And, uh, but it's uh, recognizing that uh, your home buyer, for them, it's the, the most important, the most emotional uh, purchase of their of their life and um, and we all need to just view that whole relationship through the lens of those of those customers that has to be the culture of the company it has to be the culture of everyone in the company whether they're in accounting IT or in the or in the front uh, the front line um, the the teamwork part is about it's something that's to uh, colleague of yours actually that I think has done some writing with you spoke to me about many years ago mm -hmm. and at first uh, it kind of took me aback but it makes sense uh, the more I thought about it and that's um, a question of treating your fellow uh, workers with, uh, with uh, uh, respect and dignity and um, that sort of tends to feed into an ability for people to demonstrate more respect and dignity for their customers. And it's kind of a, a point that some of us miss, and uh, we try real hard to, uh, to start at that, uh, from that point. Um, and I guess lastly is you got to have a system. It can't be just attitude alone. A system without attitude won't make it either, mm -hmm. but you've got to systematize how you achieve uh, good customer uh, results. There's a system in terms of, you know, reporting and and, and, and measuring how well we're doing, and uh, constantly looking for ways to um, to improve. Fantastic. It was uh, several years ago that you really embarked on this journey. In fact, I want to say it was about five to six years ago, really, that the that the focus became elevated to, to a whole nother level. And it was before uh, survey companies were really raiding the Toronto area. What was your impetus of those years to, to move forward with the initiative? Well, you know, the company started out very small. And uh, there was a time when uh, we could do what I called management by hollering. <laughs> because everybody was... <laughs> Everybody was with an earshot. That's why I speak quietly today. My, I wore my voice out then. But uh, uh, when, you, when you move away from that, lots of other folks' ideas tend to, and you, and you, and you hire people, uh, oftentimes for experience, because you've, you've gone through this big growth spurt, you have to hire some guy with experience, and they bring with them their own maybe 20 years uh, perspective on the relationship between a builder and, and, and their customer. Um, and sometimes you, you tend to, different people have different views and you, it's kind of like everybody's pulling in a slightly different way. And when that happens you create uh, obviously confusion for everyone and, uh, and that's almost, almost unavoidable in many cases when businesses go through a, a, a big growth spurt. So what we had to do is really go back from that to, um, uh, to first principles about what's important to us. And um, um, the trick for, for us here 
is there's, I've heard it way too often described as the Peter cult. And while that's all great and everything, in a sense, <clears throat> what it needs to be is the Madame culture. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. And the Madame culture is something that people, every employee at the company, this week, next week, next year, next decade, needs to know this is what we stand for. This is, this is how we do business. And, there's, and, and understand that it, it's not mutually exclusive, but rather mutually supportive, doing, looking after your customer and being a profitable organization. And there's some get that really confused. So we had to uh, sort of circle the wagons and take, you know, come back and sort of take inventory of where we'd been, where we were, and where we, where we wanted to go. My last comment about that is I, I'd say that, and I say this kind of tongue in cheek, right? Mm -hmm. But I say, um, because, you know, my background is a bean counter. So, uh, um, uh, so I kind of sometimes will sort of sarcastically express it, express it this way, that in a, you make an investment today in customer service and customer satisfaction, and it becomes an annuity. It becomes, it, it pays off for, for, for 20 years down the road because that word of mouth referral, that reputation, uh, that brand image, uh, not only supports your business in good times with, uh, with uh, um, plenty of customers, but it also helps to really distinguish you as the builder of choice in a, in a down market. Uh, we've just been through a down market. Some would say we're still in a bit of a down market here in Southern Ontario right now. Mm -hmm. And um, our business didn't drop off. You know, uh, certainly not from a lack of uh, customer demand. Uh, we may have dropped off because we couldn't get some damn projects approved, but that's another matter. Right. Uh, but in terms of uh, people visiting us uh, and buying homes from us, uh, we hardly missed a beat. Fantastic, and yeah. it truly is uh, great that you have the vision to see how investing in your customer results in long-term return on investment. 